Hello out there, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel, Pollock's World of Entertainment. If you are new here, uh, please hit the like and the subscribe button. The like button is the thumbs up button. That definitely helps my channel. And if you can subscribe, it actually says subscribe. Please hit subscribe. And then also hit again where you can actually are getting a bell ring. So that way you are actually up you are actually updated. Whenever I put up a video, you will know. And so yeah, please do both. Both of them help my channel. Both are free. They do not cost you anything. Uh this video is actually gonna be on the economics that go with entertainment. Okay. Now here is where I'm going to start with that. Um, the obvious is, you know, I'm sure any anybody who is following my channel, anybody who has any common sense knows that Cedar Point, for example, brings in a whole lot of money and they employ people and that any major league sports team is going to bring in a lot of money and they employ people. And so when you're talking about the effects, you're not just talking about the, the players who are millionaires and the owners who are billionaires. You have regular employees as well. On top of that, any of these venues are then surrounded by hotels, they are surrounded by restaurants, they are surrounded by bars. And all of those places are impacted by those venues. If, if for example, if the Steelers make the playoffs and they are hosting a playoff game, whether it be a wild card game a divisional game, or a championship, an a, a, you know, a AFC or NFC championship game. There, all of those, all of the hotels, all of the bars, all of the restaurants, all the uh, many of the businesses that surround the stadium, the venue, are going to get extra business are going to get a, are going to get are going to be really busy as opposed to if there is no game i have been down to um the north shore of pittsburgh when there was no game either for the steelers or the pirates who both have their stadiums on the north on the north shore and Basically, the place that I went to was dead. There were very few people. And I talked to one of the employees, and that basically they what they told me was they rely heavily on the games, whether it's the Steelers or the Pirates. If they if those teams either of those teams have a game, they will be really busy. If they don't, they're going to be pretty slow. And so that that would be the general case for the rest of the bars, the rest of the hotel and, and the hotels in the area. And that so that this affects a whole lot of people. And this extends to all venues, really, of entertainment um, in Sandusky, Ohio, where you have Cedar Point. All of the restaurants, all of the bars, all of the hotels that surround Cedar Point are extremely reliant on the business that Cedar Point gets. And if they are not getting the business, if Cedar Point's not getting the business, then all of those other businesses also are going to be struggling. And... It extends then even further 
for example, Las Vegas, which is actually a place that I am potentially looking to move to. In fact, I, and I would have to say I'm leaning to, on moving to at this point. They are extremely reliant on entertainment. And so when it's not there, like what we have had with our current uh, situation, with, our, with the current pandemic, they really haven't had the um, things open, although things are starting to open now. But everything is on a limited basis, and everything is on a safe basis. And honestly, it, it should be. <laughs> it And unfortunately, as this is going on, our the number of coronavirus cases are going back to where they were at their peak. And that to me, that is scary, because that means that if it's very possible, we could end up going back to the lockdown. And... No, nobody, nobody wants that, but that the reality is that is the that that's been the case at least in the past few days where we've actually been. I looked. I I go to worldometer. Dot info. That's where I get my numbers from each day, and each of the past couple of days we've had in the United States more than thirty thousand new cases of the coronavirus. And so that is not, that's not good. On the positive side, though, the number of fatalities has gone down, which is, which is good. It's, that's very good. So, but either way, going back to entertainment and going back to the economics with entertainment, it's, it's, it actually spreads because what happens in Vegas, again, doesn't, actually stay in Vegas. Um, Vegas actually affects, you know, everything. Uh, I mean, not, uh, throughout the world has a pronounced, extreme, extremely heavy effect throughout the rest of the world. If you look at odds on sporting events, those odds come from Vegas. And so if Vegas is not running, if Vegas is not really operating, I mean, they, they, it's not quite the same as far as getting the odds go any, when you're talking about anywhere. And obviously, when you're talking about anywhere and you don't have sporting events going on, if you don't have movies operating, and movies are another example, where... When movies are shown at the end of a movie, in a lot of cases, you'll see how many how many jobs that that movie created, and you're seeing the jobs the movie created, but that typically doesn't tell the whole story because anywhere where a movie is being produced, where a movie where your movie is being shot, where you have cameras rolling. You don't just have um, that, the, the, the actual movie itself. All the people that are in that movie are eating. All the people in that movie are staying somewhere. You have, once again, you have hotels and you have restaurants and you have bars. All are benefiting from having a movie being produced in a location. And so from that standpoint, it, it, it once again, it affects everything around them. And on top of that, a lot of these companies, a lot of the big production companies are also publicly traded, which of course affects stocks. And so, it, as you can see, it's, it's a big, big circle. And it, when you think of what happens as far as Major League Baseball, the NFL, uh, the NHL, the NBA, always bear in mind that what is happening, what is what is happening as far as a league goes, what is happening as far as players go, as owners go, 
everything that is, that is happening is not just affecting those people. It is affecting a whole lot of other people. And the fact that that industry in, in Las Vegas is, has what it would be among or at, one, it's one of the highest unemployment rates in the country. That's actually one of the things that scares me about actually moving there. But they have, they, but they, again, they have one of the highest, maybe the highest unemployment rate in the country because they rely so heavily on tourism, on people coming to Vegas, on people going and gambling and seeing shows and drinking and, and, and everything that they do in, in Vegas, the, the local population relies on that. And so that, and that is a big reason why there is a push in Washington, especially in the White House, about doing a stimulus package that's going to include a $4,000 um, tax credit that you can potentially get. And as far as details go, this is something that is only being talked about, and just to make it clear. This is not something that is in writing. It is not currently on a bill, but it is in, it is in discussion. But the big thing about it is that it would give people a tax, a tax credit to actually travel, to go on vacation, to go somewhere, to stay in a hotel, to eat at restaurants, to the, the, whole, the whole deal. And the whole point of that is basically to get get that part of the economy going. And again, the, the effects of that economy, whether it's going strong or weak, it goes even further than what I've talked about because when you look at everything that's involved, when you look at everything that's, that is involved in a restaurant, everything that's involved in a hotel, um, those people are supplied. Those people get their supplies from somewhere. Uh, those people get their everything that they utilize, all their supplies, all if everything that they utilize is coming from somewhere. So then, not only are the bars and the restaurants and the venues. Not only are all these places being affected by by seasonality, by what's going on as far as sports go, and as far as uh, amusement parks go, and as far as movies go, but you're, it's also affecting any anything that actually supplies to those parts of the economy, and so it actually affects every, everybody. In in either in 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 direct it's either direct or indirect, but it ends up affecting everybody, and that's where when you look at the economy that that this is why you have to have an economy that is working, working on all cylinders and working in all areas because if you have if you have one area that is really weak, it can base it can basically bring down the other areas because again they all affect each other and so that that is the that is the idea so when when you think about going to the ballpark to watch a baseball game going to watch a football game going to watch a basketball game and to watch a hockey game you have to understand everything that is happening if you're going to a movie Everything that it is in entertainment affects not only entertainment, but it really affects everybody. It affects the economy in total. And so, and, and I think the $4,000 tax would, would end up being a tax credit. I think that that is a good addition to a bill that is going to be passed, that would be passed. I don't know if it's going to end up in the final in a final bill or not i think it would be a good addition not by itself 
I definitely think they need to make direct stimulus as well because right now there are a lot of people out there that can't afford to go on vacation. And so they they need to put direct stimulus as well so people are actually getting money in their hands. And if people have money in their hands and they can go on vacation and then they can get a tax credit on top of it, that will work out well. But if you're only putting a tax credit in their hand, in people's hands, that's not that's not going to be enough. You people have to have cash. People have to have money. And with the current pandemic, with the civil unrest, with everything that has gone on, anything and everything that can be done to get get cash in people's hands to make things easier for people is going to be extremely important and so that'll that that is going to do it for this video again please sub, if you haven't already uh, please subscribe to my channel there's a subscribe button just click on it and if, and if you can click on it again you'll be able to actually get a bell that will actually tell you and you'll get updated anytime I post a video and then if you can hit the like button like the like button is also important for me and the like buttons anytime i'm getting likes anytime i'm getting views anytime i'm getting subscribers that that gives me information and that tells me i should do more videos on this and so if you definitely like what you're seeing again please hit the like please hit the subscribe button and if you find if if you have input please also leave a comment um down below and other than that, everybody have everybody have a wonderful day.